New here at three, there is a new type of paint class happening in Clearwater. It's taking creativity to a whole new level. It's called Paint Pour. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd sat in on a class and shows us what the buzz is all about. What's so unique about this new form of art they call Paint Pour is there really are no rules. The end result is fluid. I think this one looks like a cool little flower. Jacinia Vasquez is teaching the newest art form to hit studios across America. You can take a guess where it started. I first saw it trending on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. The idea is pretty simple. Mix together silicon and paint, then swirl it onto the canvas and watch the paint flow as you move it to and fro. It's not a typical step-by-step -step instruction class. No previous art experience is required or necessary. They always say, oh, I can't draw a stick figure. And I always say, well, you don't see any stick figures on any of these canvases. Ooh, and it starts to expand. It's real social. Everybody likes watching what everybody else is doing. We hear all the oohs and ahs and, oh, look how yours is coming out. And look how that one's coming out. And I want mine to look like that. Painting with a twist owner, Leslie Gay, says learning a new art form is the perfect escape from the outside world. She knows from personal experience. Painting with a twist was born out of um, Hurricane Katrina because I lived in New Orleans at the time and uh, you needed to get away from all of the rebuilding that we were having to do and the stress of all, all of that. Pick up the cup and all the paint is gonna pour out. Extremely relaxing and you really don't know what you're gonna get. Make sure you leave your type A personality traits at the door. This art has a mind of its own. I like control and we're gonna have to lose it. <laughs> and who said watching paint dry isn't any fun? I love seeing their reactions at the end. They're always like, oh my God, this actually looks really good. And it's like, I told you. <laughs> In Clearwater, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.